Well, well, Devin Haney has come out and reacted. He's given his thoughts on the Tyson Fury Glovegate scandal. And he spoke on whether Tyson Fury cheated or didn't cheat, right? So let's let's see what Devin Haney had to say. And we got more on this, man. It's E-King Fight News. Salute. All right, so Devin Haney spoke out on Glovegate, and this is what he had to say. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's talk about it. All right, so salute to boxing scene. Devin Haney not buying Tyson Fury glove rumors. All right, so let's talk about it, man. Tyson Fury, we all know what the accusations are. There's a online sentiment Right? I've done the experiment. And to be honest, as much as I feel like he was fucking with the gloves, I also think that there's a very good chance that could have been an open hand in terms of what Tyson Fury was doing. It, it could have easily been an open hand. And I think those gloves were very flexible. Right? The Everlast MX is a very flexible glove. Now, now I find it interesting... That Tyson Fury, just my take, I find it interesting that Tyson Fury was able to make two different gloves kind of bend back and forth, right? Because in the second fight, he used the Paffin Sport glove. I mean, two different brands of gloves. He went Everlast MX and then Paffin Sport. And he made those two gloves look the same. They were kind of bending... It was it was less evident in the second fight, but you can see the gloves kind of getting loose again in the rematch. Whether that's something that needs to be looked at. I mean, like I said, I think Kenny Bayless did a horrible job, but let's see what Devin Haney had to say. Let's see what Devin Haney had to say. He said, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This stuff is crazy. I feel like if Tyson Fury did everything right and didn't cheat, then let him enjoy his win. Don't discredit him or anything like that. I don't know the situation. I've seen the glove situation. I don't know if it's real or fake. The internet can make up anything these days. So I'm not sure. I don't think it's cool to be putting out rumors. Everyone sees it in fast motion. Nobody really sees it in slow motion. So you don't really see how the glove reacts. I think now we're paying attention to it. Other people may do the same thing. We never know. All right, I also find this interesting. The way uh, boxing scenes, uh, the writer of this article, well, shout out. He said, the allegation of glove tampering stems from the way Fury flicks his jab, which he has utilized in several previous fights, including the first fight against Wilder. Some bloggers feel that Fury was able to manipulate his gloves and lower his hand inside of the glove, which would enable him to punch without padding. All right, so the article was from Ryan Burton out of Boxing Scene. He also said, in the aftermath of the fight, some YouTube bloggers started making accusations against Fury, alleging that he failed the drug test and tamper with gloves. I wonder who they're talking about. I wonder who they're talking about. There's, there's two, two names come to mind. One starts with blue and the other one starts with young. But it is what it is, man. Shout out to those two guys. So Devin Haney basically saying, you know what? I don't know, man. I'm not part of the Slow It Down crew. That's basically what he said. He said, I'm not going to be part of the Slow It Down crew. Which is kind of what I talked about in my initial reactions to this whole situation. Because at the end of the day, no one really noticed this shit up until Wilder got knocked out. Up until Wilder got knocked out, no one really noticed the floppy gloves. And I've seen images of Canelo Alvarez looking like he had floppy gloves. I've seen images of Errol Spence looking like he had floppy gloves. Are we going to implicate those guys? Are we going to implicate those guys? I mean, honestly, 
if Fury got away with cheating, shit, man. You know, it's just, it's just like, yo, that... That 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 little sucker, you know, that that mother of effort, you know, like if he really got away with cheating, you know, he got away with it. He got away with. I mean, the glove is. Lo we all know the glove is loose, right? The only question is, is it intentional, right? I mean, why why does it happen to be his glove right here is so far above the padding? Compared to the other one. Now this is this is the gloves from the first fight. Once again. These are the gloves from the first fight. I haven't seen the glove look like this. It had it wasn't looking this bad in the set in the rematch. It was not looking this bad. So my take on it is I feel like his gloves are loosening up and we just don't know. There's not enough evidence to show that it was intentional for the rematch. In my opinion, I can see the gloves loosening up. I have images of it. I have close-up images of, of loose gloves on Tyson Fury. I mean, as you can see, y'all can see his hand right there. That's a, that, that glove is open, right? The question is, is where's his hand at? And this, this is the rematch. And you can tell it's the rematch because the, the gloves are different, right? Where's his hand at? I mean, you can let me know in the comment section below. Y'all see it, right? This is this is right towards the end of the fight, and he's got he's basically palming while they're in the face. Now the referee didn't. Call, this is my this is my issue. The referee ain't gonna call the rules. I'm not gonna sit here and and say Tyson Fury cheated because guess what? There was a referee looking at him <laughs> like doing all this shit, and he wasn't doing jack shit. The referee was just. Allowing it to happen. If you, if you got, it's the same story with um, Abner Morris. Abner Morris fought um, the brother. I'm gonna look it up, man. I'm gonna look it up right now. The brother that lost to Guillermo Rigondeaux. Um, Abner Morris low blowed the shit out of him for 12 rounds. The referee didn't call shit. The referee didn't call shit. Right? I think there wasn't even a, a point deduction. Low blow the shit out of this guy for 12 rounds. Was Abner Morris called a cheater? Was Abner Morris known to be this low blow cheater? Y'all let me know. I don't, I don't recall it. There you go. Y'all thought I forgot. Okay, Joseph Agbeko. Go back and watch Abner Morris versus Joseph Ag Agbeko. Right? I've never seen so many low blows. I've never seen so many low blows, and I've never seen a guy get away with throw, that, throwing that many borderline shots. But guess what? Abner Morris got away with it. Did people uh, go up in arms when, when he tried to fight um, Tank Davis? Did anyone care about that? Did anyone shed a tear and say Abner Morris doesn't deserve a fight? No. No one said that. He, he, he ended up pulling out anyway because I got fucked up. He injured his eye. It looks like he's fucking retired, but I mean, he's had a good career, right? He, he's had a good career. There's been several instances where guys basically, you know, like it or not, got away with, uh, I'll call it legal fouling, fouling that the referee just doesn't see. It's happened with, um, I could say Bernard Hopkins has been doing this shit for a while. You could say, uh, fuck, Vladimir Klitschko. Clinching every goddamn 10 seconds. You know, you're not supposed to be allowed to clinch. Clinching's against the rules, isn't it? Look that shit up, man. But anyways, it just is what it is, man. Like, Tyson Fury shit. I kind of, like, part of me agrees with Devin Haney. Part of me thinks, you know what? Why are we slowing down footage when, when no one really caught this shit in real time? No one caught this shit in real time. Which is funny to me, right? At the same time, Tyson Fury does have this kind of shrouded history around him of doing dirty shit, right? He kind of he kind of does. Whether it's history of steroids, which seem to be a one and done situation, um, whether it's 
you know, having that situation with Christian Hammer with the, with the glove, they had to retape a glove, like for whatever reason. I I've never seen a fighter have his glove inspected ten seconds before a fight, and then they have to completely retape his hands and readjust it because the glove is messed up. I've never seen that before. So for Tyson Fury to have that against him, it's troubling. But at the same time, you know, what what can really be done? To, that it, it got past the athletic commission. It got past the referee. A loose glove is a loose glove, right? And it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, it's not like the referee stopped the fight. The referee did not stop the fight. It was Mark Breland that stopped the fight. So that just is what it is. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And y'all know we got more on this, man. T-King Fight News. That's what Devin Haney had to say. What do you guys think?